Hey YouTube, Berserker Nick here. Um, just wanted to check in with everybody. I got some mail from Wolf Tick Videos. Um, I got these awesome pedals from uh, Chris at Walker's Bike Shop. It's a Christmas present. I want to show you guys. These are really, really awesome. Um, but first, I want to give a shout out to Bike Doctor Frankenstein. Um, he's a really awesome really awesome person um, I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with his channel uh, but he recently lost his son Michael and uh, that's pretty heartbreaking but uh, I'll put a link to his channel so you guys can go over and show him some love him and his family need it right now they need everyone's prayers and support so I think that's really important uh, I've helped him out with some parts here and there and uh, he does these awesome videos and budget builds for his family and uh, actually goes through how to do this stuff while he's doing it it's pretty cool um, he got also as a coach he's a coaches I think uh, basketball and football which is really good because uh, you know kids need a positive role model these days so Please go over to his channel and check him out. Um, but for now, I'm going to show you some pedals. I got these pedals from uh, my friend Chris. They're a set of the Race Face Atlas pedals. Now I just put a new set on my uh, on my rail, but of course I'm a bigger guy and I trash parts like pedals I mean they just they don't live very long with me being a bigger guy and uh, I've been going to the gym uh, with my friend Derek trying to lose a little bit of weight and uh, maybe put on a little bit more muscle and try to be a little healthier this way I can be around a little bit longer for you guys um, but these pedals check these out these things have got the most aggressive pins I've ever seen on a set of pedals. I'm looking forward to trying these out. They got a nice profile to them. They're nice and thin. They're a good size, so I wear a size 12 shoe, so these, these will be pretty good for my big feet. Uh, they run on a sealed bearing and they're rebuildable, which is a plus because a lot of pedals nowadays aren't rebuildable. So it's nice having a set that I can take apart, you know, re-grease, get new bearings for, things like that. So that and then this really wicked, wicked pattern on this awesome anodized red. So let me know what you guys think of these. And now we'll get into the mail. I know this is going to be some cigars. Um, I met, made some comments over on Wolf Tick videos, you know, about, hey, you know, Wolfman, give us a, a cigar review. You know, I didn't realize that uh, there are several other people that watch the channels that also enjoy cigars. Um, I myself have a, a very eclectic palate. You know, I, I enjoy everything from a natural to a Maduro to perfectos to pretty much a little bit of everything um including infused some there are a few infused cigars that i actually enjoy um as long as they're not like too candy-ish kind of i don't not really into like the fruity stuff so but uh they said they were going to send me some cigars so we'll check this out oh i got some notage in here It says, this is a tick picked here. I can't really read his handwriting. I'll try to figure that out later, I guess. <laughs> but it says, uh, we got a Rocky Patel Corojo. So this Rocky Patel edge is probably a little on the strong side, but it's smooth, inexpensive, and one of, the, one of my favorites. 
and that's from the Wolfman. I actually have a couple of these in my humidor, so that's pretty awesome. I have a couple different uh, cigars from Rocky Patel in there right now. And he sent a Crazy Alice. It's a flavored cigar, definitely not as usual, but fun and a good change up at times, which is awesome because um, I actually have uh, the the Fat Bottom Betty, which is uh, it's, it, it's in that series of cigars, and I have a few of those on hand, and I really love them. They got kind of like a chocolatey note to them, so they're pretty good. And then he said uh, Romeo and Julieta. He says he wasn't huge on this one because he usually prefers more of a full body cigar, but he thinks I might like it. Yeah, maybe. I'll try it out. And then I got another note from Jeremiah. Hey, Tick. I need to get you working on your handwriting, dude. Uh, <laughs> um, let's check these out. And I'm for sure going to be sending a few back, so... Um, Definitely expect that. Here we go, the Romeo and Julieta. It's an 1875 reserve. Thank you for putting a little humidor pack, a little humidity pack in there. I appreciate that. No, nothing like smoking a dried out cigar. <laughs> Here we go, it's a Crazy Alice. That's gonna be a nice little little one for like after work. So a lot of times when I get off after work, I mean there'll be times where I'm tired, I'll want like a, a shorter cigar, or maybe I'll only smoke like half of one. So this is a, a perfect little little one for that. Here we go, it's the Rocky Patel. I actually have, I think two of these, two of these right now in my humidor. Uh, my girlfriend got me one of the large humidor cabinets for Christmas, which is kind of nice. And it was kind of getting out of control. I had like this small humidor and I had it like way over packed. And then I had a bunch of the boxes uh, and I was just putting humidor packs inside of those and it was kind of It wasn't really the best way to go about things. So it was really great getting that as a gift. Oh Here we go a cow flathead I've had a couple of these And they're really nice these ones are I like these when I'm having a like a cup of coffee you know, or if I'm out sitting by the fire or something like that. So these are pretty good for that. Um, speaking of that, I actually do have one of those buy me a cup of coffee things, but I never post a link to it. I maybe should probably do that sometime. And let's see, for the finale we got a chillin' moose. Oh, the band on that looks so awesome. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm probably I'll probably actually end up smoking this one today. I don't really got nothing to do today. I'm probably gonna pull the frames that I have, the chrome frames out of the citric acid uh, bath that I have them in and I'll probably get those finished cleaning those up so I can uh, start getting those ready to re-decal and then once those are done I can start building and uh, I think you guys will be pretty impressed with those builds because I've got some parts up here on the shelf that are just tip top and then on top of that I've got a set of uh, Araya 7X uh, ribs from the 80s that I'm going to be cleaning up 
along with the original hubs. Um, there were a set of rims that came off of a Hutch Pro Racer, but I'm having them rebuilt. Um, so they'll have a polished hub, blue spokes, and then a polished rim. And then I'll be running a blue tire with them. So that'll be pretty cool. But uh, I'll tell you what, I might actually be repurposing this box when I uh, send a few cigars back to Wolf Tick Videos, since I don't really have a box that's a, the right size. Uh, sorry uh, about my voice. I've, I've had a sinus infection for about the last week, so not the most fun, uh, especially having to go to work. But... This is super awesome. This is a great variety of cigars, especially since I have such an eclectic palate and I enjoy so many different flavors. So I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everyone out there in the mountain bike BMX world. Um, you guys have meant so much to me. I hope you guys are having an awesome start to your new year and keep shredding.